Researchers at the Department of Computer Science at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign are investigating technologies which ease medical care for care recipients and their families. They are working towards developing a computerized assisted living system. Users of such a system can benefit in many ways. They can record their own medical information without going to a clinic and have their medical information stored securely in a centralized location. Doctors can utilize the system to assess a user's medical condition using a comprehensive set of medical information. The system can be set up so that family members and loved ones can check in on a user from different locations. Using the assisted living system, a daughter can check in on her mother remotely and make sure she's in good health. With a simple interface, users of the system can see which family members have checked in on them throughout the week. Finally, the assisted living system is designed such that people can live at home, engage in their daily activities, and live active lives without worrying about their medical care. The assisted living system consists of three parts. First, the clinic is the same clinic or medical office to which a person goes for his medical care. Users don't have to go to a special clinic if they want to gain the benefits of this technology. Second, a third-party service provider keeps deposited data secure and provides a central location which users, doctors, and family members can access. Finally, the home is equipped with just a few items that make the benefits of the assisted living system possible. The Gateway is a small computer that provides a secure connection between the home and the service provider. Medical devices communicate information wirelessly to the gateway. This medical information is sent automatically to the service provider. A person can choose to have reminders about medication and medical appointments sent to him via his cell phone, television, audio speakers, or other visual elements inside the home. Let's take a look at a couple of the features that this computerized assisted living system currently offers. Alan has coronary heart disease. His blood oxygen level and heart rate must be tested three times a day and the test results need to be reported to his doctor. However, he doesn't have to visit a clinic or a hospital. Alan has a computerized assisted living system in his home. Alan measures his vital signs at home and the assisted living system sends this medical information directly to his doctor. It's time for Alan to test his blood oxygen level. A reminder message has been sent by the assisted living system to his cell phone. The cell phone is Alan's preferred reminder device. Later in the evening, Alan is having trouble breathing. His wife Emily decides to contact the clinic to see if the assisted living system has captured anything abnormal regarding Alan's state of health. Alan has given his wife Emily permission to access his medical information. Before she can do so, she must speak a password into a computerized authentication device to demonstrate she has permission. Once Emily has provided authentication, she discusses Alan's medical status with Nurse Daisy and Dr. Chen. According to Alan's medical data, his last vital sign measurement reports a low blood oxygen level and an elevated heart rate. To get a better understanding of Alan's health, Dr. Chen speaks to Alan directly. Looking over Alan's medications, Dr. Chen sees that a recently prescribed medication would cause Alan's symptoms. Dr. Chen informs Alan of this side effect, assuring him that the symptoms will subside in a few days. The assisted living system provides users with automated reminders to take their medication. A preferred reminder device, such as a cell phone or television, can be selected by the user. Radio Frequency Identification, or RFID, is an automatic identification method with many applications. RFID technology is used by the assisted living system to help with medication management. To ensure that Alan takes his medicine properly, each bottle of medication is tagged with an RFID tag. The shelf of the medicine cabinet is equipped with an electronic scale to calculate how many pills are taken. Thus, when Alan takes a medication, the medication name and dosage are sent to his doctor. Thanks to the expert design of the assisted living system, many more features can be easily integrated into the existing system. Let's take a look at a couple of the features that we can expect to see. Marsha is another user of the assisted living system. 
she chooses to wear a small sensor at her waist which can automatically determine if she's fallen down. When a fall is detected, the sensor beeps, indicating it has detected a fall. The sensor sends a message and emergency help is deployed if needed. The sensor has a very low false alarm rate, so Marcia doesn't have to worry about bothering doctors or family members. Moreover, a small button on the sensor can be pressed which overrides the sensor's alarm. This allows a user to help prevent false alarms or avoid contacting emergency personnel if only a mild fall has taken place. RFID technology can also be used to help users find and locate objects in their home. Alan cannot find his wallet. Thanks to the RFID technology employed by the assisted living system, he can locate it by issuing a simple vocal command, locate wallet, through a small headset. The assisted living system locates the object and tells him its location. This technology can locate other objects, such as glasses and house keys, as long as they are equipped with a small RFID tag. We've just seen four features of the assisted living system being developed at the Department of Computer Science at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. As their research progresses, we can expect to see many more features that can ease medical care for recipients and their families.